Well, hey everyone, welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. mountains of Virginia on August 7th of 2021. Our desire was to get the kids in school right away and school started on August 9th. But the problem was, was that we did not have a place to live on the property that we purchased. So what we came up with as a temporary solution was to rent an Airbnb for the month while we got this built. <laughs> Yeah, this was Brooke's idea, this this whole idea of the yurt, and I hadn't even heard of a yurt until she introduced me to it. She convinced me it would be a great investment opportunity, and that's what got me over the hump is I thought, well, hey, all right, a little investment opportunity is fine. Yeah, and, we thought uh, we could you know, use it as an Airbnb once we were done living in it, but it was supposed to be a very temporary right. living space for a ourselves. A few months. Yes. A few months. Yeah, because we were having our log home built, and <laughs> and we needed a place to live. So we built the yurt with the concept of that it would be a very temporary living space for us while the cabin was being built. We thought we'd be in it just for a couple of months. A couple of months. Yep. yep. And here it is a year later. And so that's why I kind of wanted to celebrate the year of living in the yurt with making this video and kind of showing you all the work that went into building our home. And, uh, and it was a labor of love for certain. It was a lot of work, a lot more work than I had anticipated, but it turned out amazing. So as we started thinking about what it would take to put the yurt in place, uh, we realized that we needed a big platform, about a 40 by 40, I think mm -hmm. is what we ended up putting out, putting up. Um, and so we hired Dan Osborne uh, to, to build that foundation just for the, you know, yes, we could have done it, but it would have been months of us putting that together. Mm -hmm. We needed to be in quickly. So once the deck was completed, we had the yurt delivered to us. And then I think that was about the second week of August. Mm -hmm. Just about. And yeah. we got busy building it and, and Blue Ridge Yurts provided us with one person to help us the, the two day period it took us to put it up. Mm -hmm. And his name is, is Derek. Derek, and Derek was, was awesome. Yeah, he was a huge help. And getting that yurt put up. I think he had put a couple up prior to yeah. that. So he had a pretty good knowledge of what, what it was entailed. And and honestly, if if he had not been there, it probably would have taken us weeks to put that sucker up and we did it in a day, pretty much. Most of well most the, of it. The structure was up in a day and then we had to put the went the doors in and the yes. door in. So but the, the main structure was put up in a day and, yes. and, and thanks to him because it was it was pretty complicated, but yet at the same time it was also very a simple structure you know, when it comes down to it. I, I'm, right. I'm impressed with Blue Ridge Yurt. They had done a great job in constructing it so that we could put it together. I look out across the water I smell the song In my heart, I hear the call 
I think the other thing for me is just the whole the whole idea that you know we're so far out of our our mental model of how our lives were going to be <laughs> that um, you know it really helped me just rethink a lot in yeah. my life about what 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 matters important. what doesn't matter mm -hmm. and um, you know this has been an amazing experience frankly in in a year of living here I, we're ready to move on and and get a little bigger space <laughs> but it's not been horrible by any means no no we we really do enjoy it so. yeah. So once the walls and the roof of the yurt were built, we got busy working installing the flooring. We had um, chosen an easy stick-on vinyl, which is definitely not my favorite type of flooring. But to begin with, we thought that we just it would be the easiest and the quickest to get down so we could get into the yurt as soon as possible. Well, also the price. The price, I mean, yeah. <laughs> just to put in a floor in the yurt, and we're thinking this is only a couple of months we're going to be here. So yeah. we're thinking... We didn't want to put know, a whole lot of money into yeah, it. Yeah, let's keep the cost it. down. Yep. And when we looked at traditional flooring, it was absurd for... Yep that yeah. big of a floor and especially at that at that time like prices were really high yes. for for wood floors you know the, the lumber and everything so um so that's why we decided to go with the vinyl press on um and i did most of that work and it was a pain especially when i had to cut around the edging of the round walls well dan had I told did. us we should put the floor down before we put the and, up yes and highly recommend that to others <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Because it was really hard cutting it in there, so, but um, but laying it down in the middle of the year wasn't fun. It was definitely a lot easier than the edging. Yep, took a while, but got it done. Uh, once the kids and I were done with quarantining, um, Chuck was able to be around us, so we all got busy working on building the interior studs for the walls and the loft on the inside of the yurt. For the loft, in order to hold the flooring up, we needed to place um, four by eight pillars that we had, some wood from that we were gonna be using in the log um, home. And we used them here inside of the yurt. Um, they were placed around the exterior walls. And then we set two two by sixes on top of those um, pillars to connect them and make them really solid. And the reason for this is that we needed to place the floor beams on something. They couldn't just, you know, float on the exterior wall. So we had to put those pillars with the uh, with a piece of wood on top in order to. So in other words, them. we we created a bomb shelter. <laughs> we used a lot of wood on yeah, the inside of, of this. <laughs> but you know, our wood at that point was essentially free. It came off our land. Yes. Um, yep. We had paid for some milling of it, but that's about it. So um, once we had completed the bathroom walls and the beams, we moved on to the bedroom walls. My stepmom, Amy, came into town for a couple days and she was ready and willing to help us. And so uh, she got right into the action, planing the boards and helping us, you know, put them into place. It was a lot of fun having her there and we got the bedroom walls, the pillars and the beams completed. Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna live. the floorboards on the loft we had to plane down the wood so there were they were smooth on both sides both sides yeah because we, we had the them. right we had the top part and then we're looking at it from underneath you want them to look nice as well yeah. and the cool thing there was they were all blue stained mm. so the pattern of the wood started coming out yeah it's and, beautiful uh, it really took a lot of muscle strength to hold the long boards and feed them through the planer i was pretty surprised at how challenging that was. But that little Dewalt planer was awesome. Yeah. I mean, that thing has planed a huge amount of yes. lumber yes. for us. For it both Grumpy's Garage, for our yurt. Yep. It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. So once the electrician finished installing all of the outlets and he got us hooked up to the grid, we are good to go for installing the one by planks along the wall studs of the kitchen. We started with the kitchen so that I could build the kitchen. <laughs> Each board that we used for the paneling was planed down as all the other boards were. 
And then we dado headed each side so that the boards would overlap once we placed them on the wall and air nailed them down. As soon as the kitchen wall paneling was high enough, we got to work building the kitchen countertops. We had never built anything like this, so it was quite an undertaking, but both Chuck and I put our brains together and figured out how it would work best. This is the not so clean side of the room. This right here. We try and pretend it doesn't exist right now because it's such a disaster, but not for long. Gabe and Brie had a number of jobs that they needed to do together. The first was creating the ladder that went up to the loft. And then the second was putting all the paneling on the living room walls. I think they did a really good job together and seemed to get along pretty well. Once the countertops were finished being constructed, I sanded them down really nicely and gave them a great coat, couple coats of polyurethane. You know, and the other part was just the growth that we experienced, I did for sure. As a family, um, finding that, you know, it isn't about how large your home is, it's it's really about what you do with the space you're in and, and just the opportunity to spend more time and be more connected, a little too connected sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, for, for quite some time, you'll see in the video that our, our kitchen and bathroom wall was only halfway up. <laughs> so there was not a lot of privacy in the yard for the uh, yeah. for the kids and for us. But but it's worked out really well. We uh, we definitely have enjoyed this space, but we are looking forward to uh, moving into the cabin, hopefully yeah. before winter comes. As you can see, we have prepared just in case that we are going to be living here for the winter. We need a lot of wood to keep us warm. Just in time for the cooler weather to arrive, Chuck and Bree got the fireplace installed and were ready to work. We are officially lighting our first mini fire in the fireplace. The test fire. The test fire, yes. yes. The next thing that we had to do on our list was to build the railing system for the loft. Um, Chuck and Bree mainly took charge of, the, of this job, but did have some help from Gabe, and they did an amazing job setting the posts and then putting the railings up on top. Does she notice the things I notice? How she practices piano on her thigh Imagining the keys inside her mind Later on, I came along and installed the hog wire um, and just kind of you nailed it to the inside of the posts. 
and cut it to the shape and angle that we needed and um, it turned out really well. We are feeling that it is very secure for anybody who might go up there and play close to the edge. We will be certain that they will not be falling through anytime soon. But I'm here, I'm here. The next thing that needed to get done was the paneling around the kitchen cabinets. Um, the food that was stored under there kept falling through and I definitely didn't want to see it anymore so it was time to put the paneling on. After it was in place, I polyurethaned the wood and it made the wood look absolutely gorgeous. The next thing I did was to finish up the walls in the kitchen and the bathroom. The inspector had come to look at the electrical wires to give us our um, go ahead to have a permit of occupancy and once he did that we were able to close the walls up and finally get some privacy in the bathroom. One of the things that really needed to be done once we finished all of the walls was that we needed a bed. We needed to get our mattress up off the floor. And so we went to work building a bed from the wood on our property and using a lot of the scrap wood also for the headboard, which we think turned out really, really nice. Um, so the reason I'm including this in the build of the yurt is because this puppy is never gonna leave the yurt. <laughs> We built it very, very strong and it is very heavy and the only way to really move it is to take it apart. Um, so as far as we're concerned, that puppy is staying in the yurt until the yurt no longer exists. <laughs> it's a great bed. We absolutely love it and we're excited um, that guests will be able to enjoy it in the future. The final thing that we did to truly make the yurt our home was to build our closet. Our clothes had been sitting on metal wire um, shelves for quite some time and um, I was ready for getting some organization in our bedroom. <laughs> so I built all the shelving for the closet and I think it looks fantastic. I am very pleased with the work that I did and our clothes are very happy to be tucked away in a nice cozy spot.